Hi guys, Rhonda Winstead here with you. How are you today? I am doing well and I'm very happy to be with you. So we are working on midweek mystery today and I know you were like, where was she? She was supposed to be here yesterday. Nah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Midweek mystery can be Wednesday, Thursday, Tuesday. Hey, I give myself allowances for the time thing. Uh, actually, actually, I'm going to be honest, which I usually am, but sometimes, you know, we omit things. Not to be dishonest, but, you know, you don't want to, like, pour out all your laundry to everybody. But the new um, pill that I had quit taking uh, for my cancer because I didn't like the side effects. Excuse me, got a cop. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> and that happens too. When I start to talk, then I, you know, I, I want to cough. Let me just take a drink. Okay. And I stopped talking it, well, taking it, when I went back and saw my doctor. He very gently, but very sweetly said, let's take it again. It's really a good drug. <laughs> and I really want to see if it will help you. Uh, so, you know, I mean, if it's horrible, horrible, we'll switch it and we'll do another one, but it's a really good drug. <laughs> uh, I said, okay, we'll start taking it again. So it's, we're in our second week and I have noticed this past week, I am tired. <laughs> I'm just really tired. I, I sleep longer um, and my energy level is less. So I do apologize, my darling friends. I love you so much, and I love to be here. But, but yeah. So um, I'm going to allow myself the uh, the option, <laughs> if you will. I'm like, what's the right word? What's the right word? To break my own rules. So if I'm not here exactly on a certain day um just bear with me um watch an old video uh i've got lots of older ones um but i i have every intention of being here with you guys i love you guys and i absolutely enjoy spending time together but you know things happen but anyway okay enough of that so, this week's little mystery thing that we're going to do, we're just deviating from making a, a, been working on some journals and that's been super fun, but I got an order in the mail. I have these amazing little brown sacks. And immediately, I'm like, oh, what can I do with them? So, that is what, this is the base for these fun little goodies. So, let's just go through, we'll open them up, and I'll show you what I've done, and then we'll make one together. So, here we go. This I have included some of my own, um, I'm going to try to do this more often, some of my own digitals. Um, this is, these are receipt books that I found in an antique shop. And so, and I created some digitals with those that can be used for fun, fun projects. And so that's what you see here. I've got 49 dragonflies. I've been working on a journal, another one uh, with her papers. And so I had that out handy. 
I've been using those and my my digitals and Roxy Creations Rachel's digitals as well. I I you know, if I'm combining Rachel and Barbara together, I'm getting, you know, just amazing amazing opportunities there. So, here we go. I have just made just a little I stitched this down, little pad of paper, and these are um this is just some papers that I've had. I have some pads of old stationery and that kind of thing. And so this was just super fun. A little bit of collaging. And then we've got a little pocket. And just this would make a great little addition to your journaling. You can add it that way. You can give it as a gift. This would make a super fun little thank you gift for somebody or just thinking of you. Write a sweet little note and uh, give that to someone. I could have <laughs> I could have done that better. Yes, indeed. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. Um, this is part of a Battenberg uh, doily. And then I've got little bits and pieces on top of here. A little bit of collaging. This is my own, again, this is my digital. And and this one I did right. <laughs> I had the flowers at the top on the other one. Well, duh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and then here's one of Barbara's on her boho birds. The one I'm working with and then that's also her flower and just a little bit of just fun 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 stuff there's the pocket yeah so I'm not even gonna try to you know you know wrap wrap it up wrap it up baby <laughs> and then we have this sweet little one and this is Barbara's paper and this is Rachel's bird and these are my flowers and I love the combination I think it's beautiful and then I've got some more little bits and pieces and this is just some more uh, from pads of paper uh, that I have and we've got a little pocket here and I just left this plain it's beautiful you see part of the butterfly there so that's that one. And then, and then she said, <laughs> and this is the last one that I have made. Um, got a lot of collaging going on here. And these are Barbara's um, digitals, along with old book pages. And this, of course, is mine. And these piano pages are also mine. I have printed, they make excellent for writing. How cool is that? And then this is an old book page and it was just the perfect size. So this could be glued onto or art, arted up or whatever. And then this, and I'm going to do a video on this. I've had a request. Uh, from one of my subscribers, this is uh, scrap uh, freezer paper ironed together. That's what this is, and it's a nice, sturdy, heavy page. So then I've stitched it in the middle, and then of course, you know, you have the the other side. And so this is uh, vintage music. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> vintage music music paper and this is uh, vintage as well in a foreign language I I don't know if that's Dutch or if that's German or what it is but so then we have a pocket here 
and then it is also collaged on the back so super sweet the difference on this one is I punched a hole and put my string through the hole so that makes it maybe a little easier to tie it I don't know I'm not so good at the tying thing but Hopefully, this will give you some fun ideas. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, so let's get started and make one of these sweet little babies. Um, let me give you the measurements so that you can... And I, I will have... I will have these bags in my store... Um, in the next couple of days in case you want to but there are many places where you can get you know flat paper bags so I'm certainly not saying you have to get them from me so this is seven and a half inches to kind of the edge here um, eight inches if you include the little flap okay and this I believe is five or just yeah just a smidgen over five okay so what I want to do let's see how am I going to decorate this one what paper shall we use well let's just let's just use what we've got set out I just got a bunch of of um, antique and vintage Let's go ahead and do a collage on here as well. So the first thing that I'm going to tackle is the flap. And I want to make the flap fairly sturdy. So, okay, well, we've got this. I've got this from Barbara. Let's go ahead and... Cut that. And of course, scissors, paper cutter, everything is fine. I just, this is, this is me. I do use my scissors on occasion. So, I'm not always so weird. <laughs> I don't, oh, I don't know, maybe I am. <laughs> I'm weird. Can you relate to that? <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, so I'm just kind of eyeballing this. I'm not using a a real good measurement, but what I want to do, <clears throat> excuse me, and let's put this under a glue page. I am, I want to strengthen this flap, okay? So I am using just an ordinary glue stick. This is Elmer's all-purpose glue stick. Um, the key, I believe, and I know a lot of people use different glues, and I that's absolutely wonderful. The key for me is uh, a little fiddly, little fiddly. Oh. Okay, let's make sure that that was, that wasn't sticking. Oh, come on, you guys. Of course, when you turn the camera on, it's going to be like, ha, 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 <laughs> I'll show you, right? Okay, now you could cut this. I could actually cut this. To make that just a tad bit easier. And you could get mad and do that. <laughs> okay. So as you can see here, it's fine. And now I'm going to glue this other side. Okay. And press down. 
We'll move that out of the way. And that is crooked. <laughs> oh, you guys, some days, right? Some days are better than others. Oh, go tell your mothers. So, you know what? I'm going to straighten that up because that will drive me nuts. But if it doesn't drive you nuts and you do it, that's fine. <clears throat> okay. So that is going to be our over flap. Or flap over. Or our, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. And we will just... Fold that. That's pretty good. And then, and then she said, where are my scissors? That's what she said. Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> oh, goodness. I apologize. And then I'm going to trim that so that it looks about the same on both sides and that will be our little fold over so as you can see I didn't give you like a width for your paper I mean I can tell you what I used right there it was three and an eighth inches but you could use a little bit wider the important thing is to get your measurement of whatever size bag you're using that's the measurement that you want the height of that bag, this needs to slip inside. And honestly, that is the most difficult part of the whole thing. Now it's just a matter of folding. And I make sure that you have a little bit of space so that your journal or your your little book your little whatever you want to call it because it's it's not a journal you know can fold over neatly that way only it won't go on the outside it'll go on the inside I, but you could you could have it fold over here <clears throat> and in fact if you were to do this wider then you would have much more uh, um, play to work with so you could have it fold over if you wanted it to be on the outside so that's also an option for you okay <clears throat> mm, goodness let's have another drink <laughs> thank goodness for water oh love cold water but it has to be cold warm water not so much all right so, if you're wanting to do it quickly, you can just take papers and just cover it. You could do like a sheet. You could do this side, glue it down. This side, glue it down. So it can be as simple as you absolutely, you know, want it to be. It doesn't have to be complicated. For instance, this one, that's exactly what I did with this beautiful piece of paper. You know, I went ahead, I measured here, then I went ahead and snipped for the, the center. You don't have to. You don't have to do that, but you can. And I went ahead and snipped for the center here, cut those in two pieces, but you don't have to. You could certainly do it with one. The key factor is to let it dry and then, you know, and then fold together. And by the way, um, I need to give credit right here to Rachel of Roxy Creations. I want to make sure. She did a recent video on her 100-day project of, of folding up, making pockets from book pages and whatnot and I 
I have done what she did. It's been a few years, but it reminded me when she was working on that of the paper bag, you know, being able to do that because I've done it both ways, covering a paper bag and then also making my own folding up, you know, folding up a book page and, and whatnot and making my pockets and stuff. But anyway, watching her video reminded me of that. And so thank you, Rachel. Love you, girlfriend. And so I want to definitely give a shout out to Rachel for that. Um, and I, I love that about what we do because, you know, they say there's nothing really new, but, you know, there are always ways and ideas of doing things that make it just unique and one idea leads to another idea, et cetera, et cetera. So that is super fun. Okay. So let me just go through some of these things that I have here. Some old book pages. Oh, I love these so much. And I, I am just really enjoying the process. Um... Let me get my tear ruler and we will just, you know what's amazing about some of these super old book pages is how uh, sturdy, how strong they are. Okay, I think that I will, ooh, that's good too. I am going to put that on the front and we can add some other papers to it. So what is going on in your world today, my dear friends? I would love to hear what's happening in your neck of the woods. We are just, you know, we're just, I don't know, maybe we're boring, but <laughs> we're just doing our thing. We've had quite a bit of rain recently here, um, and it was kind of gray and you know, with that, which comes sometimes. <laughs> but today, the sun is shining and everything is looking amazing. And as you can see, this, I didn't really, and I haven't done this with the others that I covered. Ah, come on. But I just decided to use, <clears throat> excuse me, the book page as a cover. And that gives, just kind of wrapped it around to give it extra, extra strength there. So, <clears throat> let's go ahead and, and, and. Since we're not going to take it over the fold in the middle, I want to and keep these. They're good for stamping. They're good for projects. I know, you know. And But one thing I can't do is I need to also take off this side because I don't want to cover up my flap. Okay, so we'll set that aside. I really didn't, you know, intend on doing this, but why not? 
that's that's also a very cool fun thing is you know start with one thing and then it turns into something else <sighs> there's something about why is it that gluing or stitching paper and fabric is so therapeutic I just golly it's it's such a no-brainer to me it's like why wouldn't I want to do that <laughs> Why wouldn't I want to do that? All right, so we are just kind of lining that up. We'll turn it over. Let's make sure that we have glued clear out. We'll just fold that over. And we will do the same here. Okay. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. These are just fun, guys. I mean, seriously, these are fun. If you make one, you might as well make like, you know, I don't know, a few. <laughs> Okay, so for the inside, let's see, what have we got here? Here's some amazing oh, old poetry or song, something. Why not? You know what? This is just, uh, yeah, why not? Um... Okay, I don't want that included, nor do I want this. But I will keep this. This is actually part of the, the spine, um, but that'll be a cool something to put on another project. So I definitely will keep that. Let's see which, oh, that's a whole different, that's a whole different something. So, let's, uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. I like this, I'm going to just keep that book page. Yeah. And so, to center that kind of, we will just sort of do that. Okay, that's good. Oh yeah. Oh, that. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Whoa. I apologize. This is... <laughs> I'm like, Rhonda, you're silent. And inside, I'm like, Yes, but I'm gluing. I'm focused. And I am focused. All righty. Okay. <laughs> super fun, super fun. And let's, we'll do the same over here. Uh, I want to include, yeah, I want to include that number page even. So we shall tear above there and then we shall tear right here-ish. <laughs> 
All right. And that will give the sturdiness over here. Okay. We're getting there, my dears. My dears. Let's see. So what has been going on over here that would be interesting to you, perhaps? I don't know. Um, our peas. Our peas are looking great. They're about, oh, I'd say, I mean, they're different heights because some, you know, some start uh, sooner than others, even though you planted them basically at the same time. Some, some get the message quicker than others. That, that's what it is <laughs> to, like, grow. <laughs> some of them are like, oh, I don't know. It's so nice and warm in here. <laughs> new um, <clears throat> but I would say uh, we've got a good four three four inches three and a half four inches now maybe I don't know something similar mm, that that moved a little bit where there was not I'm gonna be okay with that though I'm not going to, like, beat myself up and say, oh, I know, it's bad. Perfectionism is a curse. <laughs> it's a curse, my friends. Because nobody, you know, none of us achieve it. None of us get there. So the idea that, that we, it needs to be perfect is really extremely pompous. <laughs> it's like, hello, what... Who made you the big kahuna, you know? It's like, golly, chill. You're not that good. <laughs> and of course, I know that. But anywho, just weird stuff, weird stuff. Okay, you know what? You know what? I'm going to, like, trim this a little bit. And I have not done this either. But as I'm looking at that, I'm thinking, that's a very good thing to do. <laughs> that's a very good thing to do. Okay, so you might do it before you put a bunch of stuff on it. Might be straighter. Ugh. Oh, you can see I'm extremely lost without my paper, my rotary cutter, and map board. That's okay, though. This is good. Okay, and when that dries, that will be much sturdier as well. This is already pretty strong. That's uh, dried quite nicely. Okay, so now let's, let's decorate. Let's decorate this puppy. Let's do the outside first. Um, I want to have something that will bring this color back in. Now I know I had some, yeah. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of collaging. And for this, I think definitely I want... Mm. To use my tear ruler. Okay. Let's try and oh, I didn't quite give that enough. All right, let's go ahead and take off the bottom and see. Uh, <laughs> not quite enough again. There, I'm sure that will work. Yep. Yes, indeedy. Okay. So we will just glue that down. And now this is just the random, just finding fun little things just to put down. And I think these would just make, these would make great additions to your journals, you guys. 
or they would make a fun, you know, completely, <clears throat> excuse me, completely separate gift as well. Now, do I want to use some of these little leftover pieces that we have torn off our pages? Maybe. I do think that I would like to include one of these little verses. Where's my... Grab my ruler here. Let's just go ahead and get one of them and see. I love this paper. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. It's just the coolest ever. I have come across um, some old paper some old books that I found in an antique mall and I checked with Rachel of Roxy Creations because I, I know she doesn't consider herself this but I consider herself to be very very well informed on old book pages and and whatnot because she's you know she's just super smart and savvy that way and has uh, a lot of I think she's just got a lot of smarts and I appreciate her opinion and I told her what I paid for it and I just bought one I didn't know and she said you got a great deal. You should have bought them all. <laughs> I was like, ugh. <laughs> so I went back with my daughter-in-law and my husband about a week later. It's about an hour and a half from where we live. And they still had them. So I worked out a deal with the owner and I purchased them. I haven't had an opportunity yet to put them in my shop, but, and I won't put them all on all at once. I think I'll just, you know, I'll just put a few. I just kind of see. Part of me is like, oh, I don't even want to do anything with these because they're just, they're beautiful. They're just beautiful. But I don't read the language. Who knows how long they've been sitting there. And the reality is... We hoard so many things that we, you know, when we die, none of that goes with us. Nothing. We, <laughs> it all goes back to Mother Earth, you know. It's just our, our spirits and bodies, I believe, they will be resurrected, reunited. But those books aren't, <laughs> those books are earthly. <laughs> and the same with quilts and things like that which is why I don't I don't make myself stress about cutter quilts and that type of thing just because I give them new life but there's still a part of me that has a hard time even doing that even though I know all those things th there's a part that's like ugh oh, and so it may take me a while, you know, before I do that. Um, another beautiful look at the look at the printing. Look at the font on that, and then the color is so amazing. I that's, uh, mm, mm, mm. yeah. <laughs> I have always loved. 
books and paper. I'll always have. And I'm, I'm not sure where that comes from. And I'm a texture gal. I love amazing texture. And that's one of the reasons why I like mixed media so much. Because you can combine, you know, your love of fabrics and your love of paper and other things together. And wow, create such gorgeousness. Such gorgeousness. Oh. All right. So we have a our one of our sons that lives here is he and his little family are on spring break this week and they are taking advantage and going for a little bit of rest and relaxation. <laughs> Look at the glue. Sticky, sticky. I need to get some wipes. I don't have current wipes. Well, I do, but they're all dried out. So, obviously. <laughs> obviously, they're not amazing if they're all dried out. I mean, they're amazing, but you can't use them for that. Okay, let's... Get this out. Let's see. Let's pick a bird. Any bird. I love these birds. Um, the, any bird will do. I mean, seriously. These are perfect for this okay so let's let's just this one this one we have this one I really like this I'm almost thinking that these may be just a little bit dark for what I want for this particular one. I mean, they are beautiful, obviously. Let's see. Nope. Um, let's see. Okay, just looking. That, this I think may have been a, that it got cut off or something, because I'm pretty sure there's more to that bird, but I didn't want to waste, waste it, so I'm like, I know I can use it in some fashion. That looks pretty good, too. I, you know what? I'm going to go with my first choice. Sometimes it is just your first choice that you're like, just go with it. Okay, and now I want to flip over to some of my flowers or plants, not necessarily. Oh, doesn't that look cool? Oh, that looks good even without the bird, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Change of plans, maybe? Oh. Wow. Okay. You know what? We're going to change directions. Sweet Birdie will pitch you aside there. No offense.
but we're going to just go with our instinct. Okay. So I hope that you are having a good day or evening or the middle of the night. I'm not sure when you're going to be watching the video, but I hope that it brings you joy. I hope I hope you can feel, you guys. I really do love you. I really do appreciate you. You are amazing, and I'm so happy that we have the ability that you can live uh, anywhere in the world and I can be here and we can still connect. I just think that is the most wonderful, wonderful gift. And I hope that you feel loved. I really do. We all need to, we all need to be loved and feel that we're loved don't we okay that's pretty cool you know I didn't I didn't plan that but look how this little um, poem or song sonata whatever that might be how that fits with that I think that's all that needs I'm happy happy with that um, <clears throat> I don't think I'll decorate the inside I love that and I think I'm going to actually leave this as is. Now, and I apologize for the length of this video. I have a feeling that it's long. Um, but we want to do something. We want to put either stitch a little pad of paper here. Or we can put the pages in. Let me show you again. Here we've got the pages that are stitched so you can write and rip it out if you want the note and then you can you can put more in there as well. Or like the last one that we did, which was to make this more of a notebook, you know, more for writing or whatever. Okay, I think we'll, we'll go with this one because I think most of you are probably fairly familiar with the other. Let's see. Would this even work? See, this is the pad of paper that I have taken. And I have included this side because this has the purple. You know, this has a little bit of, it's kind of the pinkish purple. Yeah, we'll do that. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and let's go ahead. Oops, let's put the put the lid on our glue. Let's go ahead and measure. So this is where you'll measure your whatever size book that you have. You don't want your papers to interfere with the fold line or with the pocket. And you can have it to where they come uh, that the flap doesn't cover them. You know, you could have them start here. But I prefer to have it, you know, so it's kind of equal when you haul, haul, <laughs> when you have the flap open, you know, you have a nice, a nice little pad of paper there. So, this is three inches wide, and this is one, two, three, four, five inches deep, but I'm going to do like four and three quarters. So, three inches by four and three quarters. And, of course, like I said, 
you don't have to use my quilting tools. I know, it's pretty weird. Um, that's me. I'm pretty weird. <laughs> okay, so we're just cutting that off, and these will be saved and used again, I have no doubt. And did I say four and three quarters? I believe I did. So, and again, this will be used in another project. Okay, so, <clears throat> where is it? <laughs> where, where is it? Oh my gosh, I just had it. Where is it? Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, I love that. I love that. I just think that looks so sweet. Okay, so let's... I am just going to clip that. And now I'm heading over to the sewing machine. I'm not turning the video off. I want you to go ahead. You can hear this. <coughs> I do apologize. For any of you that this is offensive, please turn your video sound off right now. And then, of course, I will continue stitching. And we are back. So, here I like to go ahead on the back of my stitching, I like to smooth it down. Now, if you do this, what you're going to create is a smaller pocket. Okay? I don't mind that. There's still plenty of room to put, you know, notes, pack, pictures, uh, letters, whatever you want. Uh, journaling pages. But you just have to know that that's, you know, that that's the case. So we will just... <clears throat> and I am tying off my threads. Pulling the thread through from the back. And I am tying them so that this, uh, maybe, <laughs> I'm maybe doing this. Oh no. Anyway, so that they don't pull, that the threads don't pull. And the stitching come out. <coughs> Excuse me. I've sure had a, a frog in my throat all day. Okay, there we go. Now, last step, and I think I'll show you the one with this. I'm taking a paper punch, I'm kind of just eyeballing in the center there, creating a little hole. This is an eighth inch punch, um, so, and then we'll take some string from this string that is never, ever, <laughs> ever Oh, these aren't my fabric scissors. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> and I'm doubling it. Just kind of finding my middle. And I don't, you know, I don't know how how long you need to to have it. You just you make that decision. I'm just pulling that through. So here we go. One, two, three, and and we're just, yeah. Okay, that is it, my dears. I hope that that has inspired you. I certainly did have fun. No, oh, I want to show you this before we go. Remember when I... Oh, and I did. I did trim that a little bit. Um, 
when I said to fold it so that the, the flap is just a little bit away. The reason I did that is because I didn't do that with this one. So you can see it puckers. See that? Can you see that? There. See the space? Because I didn't do that. And so with, with the others, I've been better about making sure. And it's okay because I'm not... I'm not folding it to be on the outside, but if you did, that would definitely be, you know, an issue for you. Just a little side, just a little side light there. Okay, so this, these are the ones that I have finished, and so far, okay. I love you guys. Till next video, have a fabulous day. Bye-bye now.